L. Fanning proved to be an unlikely Manchester City F. C fan on Sunday as she showed support for the team while watching a match at Etihad Stadium, Manchester. The Hollywood actress, 24, looked as chic as ever as she sat in the crowd as the side defeated rivals Man United 6-3 thanks to hat-tricks from both Phil Foden and Erling Haaland. L looked very much at home as she joined fellow football fans in the crowd in the Northwest City, sharing an Instagram snap of herself waving the team's shirt in the air. The Maleficent star shielded her eyes with dark Ray-Ban sunglasses, while her blonde locks were swept up into a half-up, half-down style. She certainly kept her appearance low-key as people around her appeared more engrossed in the game than the fact they were just inches from the A-lister. While Elle has never really spoken of being a football fan, she certainly comes from a sporty family, with her father playing in minor leagues, her grandfather was an American football player, while her aunt was a sideline reporter in football. It comes after the Emmy-nominated actress shared never-before-seen snaps of her Halloween costume as Britney Spears last year. The child star flaunted her fabulous 5FT9 in figure on Sunday in a recreation of the 40-year-old pop star's sexy costume from the 2001 MTV Video Music Awards. L, born Mary, draped a fake snake around her neck and wore a green bra top, tiny black shorts, and thigh-high boots selected by her girl from Plainville costume designer Marin Gordon Grosier. Fanning's longtime makeup artist Erin Ionian Monroe gave her cheekbones plenty of shimmer, an excess of black eyeliner, and overall body tan. The Georgia Barn Blondes girl from Plainville hairstylist Jules Holder and gave her Britney style locks for the spooky festivities. Elle captioned her slideshow, Ghosts of Halloween Past. Fanning received glowing comments from Paris Hilton and Chloe Grace Moretz, as well as her girl from Plainville on screen mother Cara Buono, Walker actor Keegan Allen, and star crawler front woman Arrow DeWild. Thank you.